Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now, this video is part of a video series in which I try to hack an old Bitcoin miner into a Linux development board. It contains an FPGA, a Xilinx Zinc FPGA and I'll be showing you how to use the various peripherals SPI, I2C and how to use the FPGA. In this video we're going to compile the compilers needed to compile Linux. We're going to compile Linux 5.8 for the development board. And as I said in this video we'll be setting up the build environment. So it's pretty straightforward the process. I've created a GitLab repository that you can use to set it up in a few seconds. So once you've got your Ubuntu or WSL2 machine open, it's very important to use WSL2. WSL1 won't work. And navigate to a folder that's inside of your WSL2 folder. So not a Windows folder, but your user folder of your machine. Then clone the repository that I've made, link will be in the description. And once you've entered it, there are a couple of files, uh, two script files and you need to make them both executable. And after that's complete, you'll actually need to run the setup.sh without sudo. When the script needs sudo, it will ask for it. So press enter and everything will be downloaded. As you can see, it needs sudo now. So press enter and it will download everything that's required for the toolchain to be compiled and installed to your system. Now, as you can see, it's currently compiling the toolchain when there are any missing packages, just download them inside that folder and run ptx dist go again. It will find the archive and it will check for its MD5 sum. And if it matches, it will continue. If it fails, it will show the MD5 sum that it was expecting. And you can use that to continue your search for the proper package. And when this has all finished, you are presented with a toolchain. I'm going to skip out of this because I have already have the toolchain installed. The toolchain will be installed in opt slash Ocelos toolchain 2020.08.0 and there will be a v7a and a v7em version. Now we are only going to use the v7a uh, version for this. So yeah, that's basically it. This is your toolchain ready to be used. It will uh, be specific to your uh, host operating system. So if you actually want to compile the build environment for the uh, FPGA on the FPGA, assuming that you've got plenty of storage space left, you are able to do that if you get all the packages uh, installed. It needs a few apt packages to uh, get ready, a few libraries. So now you can see the flexibility that you have with uh, running PTX dist compared to other systems. It's completely independent of your uh, host operating system as it will just compile the toolchain from source. So when you want to build the Linux uh, images, just hit the build script and it will start to build. Now, what we're going to do with this is for the next video. Uh, so please keep an eye out on my YouTube channel uh, and we're, I'm going to explain what to do with all the files that are created, how to install them, how to boot the system. and much much more so thanks for watching this well rather short video i think this is one of my shortest videos that i've ever made on my channel 
but I still hope you find it interesting. Uh, please let me know if you've got any tips or tricks for me. If you want me to point that out a bit more, point that out a bit more. So please do let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.